Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Natasha Callis about SkyMed on Paramount Plus. Welcome to the show. Welcome back to the show. It's so good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me again. You're like a third, three-time guest now. Do I have to get you like I a know. mug or something? <laughs> I know. I feel so honored. Was Nurses your first medical drama? It was, yeah. So now, you know, it's interesting because you would think, yeah, maybe you know what's to come with SkyMed, but this is taking the medical drama was coming to a whole new level, right? A hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's super fun. I mean, it's like, I, I don't think it's like any other medical dramas out there, which was which was really fun for me. But was it a little bit kind of easier to get maybe in the mindset because you did nurses and it's like your second like medical drama? Was that, did that come to mind a little bit as well? A hundred percent. It was actually yeah. a little bit too easy. Uh, <laughs> well, seriously, while filming uh, the first few days, I was so confident with the medical jargon and just kind of like very comfortable in the world. Whereas my character is supposed to be new to this guy med team. And even though she was a labor and delivery nurse, she's, she's a little bit in and over her head. So when I was coming in very confidently and, and, you know, into the scenes, uh, I had to, I had to change that up a little bit. I got pulled aside. <laughs> Has it hit you that it's the like it's finally out? Like it's crazy, right? You go, you shoot this thing, you rap, and like people can see it finally. It's so overwhelming. It's I, like it's weird. These last few days have just been such a whirlwind. I mean, it's it's doing so well on Paramount Plus, it's number one. So, so it cool. hasn't really like it's it's hard. It's a weird thing to try to process and understand. So I've just kind of been a little bit overwhelmed these last few days, but very exciting. Oh, absolutely. What can you tell us a little bit about? actually kind of shooting this thing because one of my favorite things about this is just kind of how it looks like I, the cinematographers did such an amazing job so what was that like kind of being there kind of seeing all the shots seeing all the scenery looking at video village in the playback what was that like aesthetic it was, wise it was a dream it was honestly such a dream and it was different than anything i've ever done coming off of nurses which was so much fun but we were in a studio every single day which I mean had its perks because the studio was you know 10 minutes away and and it was just very easy whatever and so this show I mean obviously had its challenges while filming on far locations you know two two hours away sometimes from where we were staying um but it just made it feel so much more exciting and we would arrive to set and we'd be like whoa this is where we're filming today it would be like a beach or or you know a, a frozen over lake or whatever it was it was so cool um and I definitely had like a pinch me moment uh, yeah. it was one of the first days of filming we were coming in on a we were on a speedboat um over this lake going super fast there was a drone sort of like rotating and catching us all and there was sunset and it was one of the most magical experiences and it's something i'll remember for forever it was a pinch me moment in my career yeah yeah no absolutely it, it it's really it's really crazy too because and I, you know what i saw the interview we did for nurses and i didn't ask you this so i'm curious now it's a big question so i don't know if there's a like a exact answer why do you think medical dramas are so appealing and popular? I think it's the high stakes. I mean, yeah. it's, it, it's life or death. And I think that's really exciting for people. Um, it, yeah, I, I think it's, 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 yeah. I think it's a it's tough just, question. hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I think it's because it's high stakes and it's life and death and um, it's real things you know, scenarios that happen. And it's, I think it's also really quite amazing how other people can save other people's lives. Like, I think that's a really fascinating thing. And, and like the knowledge and the years of school and everything that comes down to it in a, in a scenario where somebody's dying, being able to save them. I yeah. think that's amazing. And I think that's where the attraction comes. As someone who's acted in two medical dramas, is it overwhelming in terms of the art of kind of acting and preparing where there's kind of two things at play? There's the storylines involving kind of the emergencies, like you said, the life and death. But then there's also kind of like the character arcs and like relationships and all the drama on the other side as well. Because like, there's a lot, right? Is it overwhelming a little bit like when you first see it all on page on the script or not really? It's kind of fun. I feel like it's an opportunity to almost play two different characters because mm -hmm. you go to work and you're in your work mode and your nurse mode and you're, you know, 
and then you go home and you're just a normal young adult who yeah. gets involved in sticky situations, love triangles, hookups, create it. And you know, you come home and you're just like a normal person. So it, yeah. it's fun. It's fun playing those two different sort of like mindsets. That's so true. It's all, it definitely is like two shows almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hundred percent. Did it feel like that too, when you were shooting it? Like some of the scenes, like the emergency scenes, then like the, you know, heavy kind of acting drama relationship scenes. Did it feel like that? It did. Yeah. yeah. I think as soon as I sort of zipped up my flight suit and put on my headset and, and, and my gloves and whatnot, it felt like, okay, nurse mode, I mean, business type of thing. And mm -hmm. then as soon as I was like in regular clothes, hanging out at home or like at the whiskey, at the whiskey hatch with, with, with the rest of the cast having fun and drinking, it was like, yeah. okay, this feels like honestly just us all hanging out because we, we became so close. So it was really fun. Oh, so great. Hey, Natasha, you know what movie I'm going to bring up of yours right now? Can you take what? a guess? <laughs> the <possession. laughs> The possession, of course. I feel like, you know, that's going to be a new rule. Every time you come back on the show, like, I can't not bring up that movie. <laughs> well, do you want to see something cool? I think you'll love this. Oh, my God. What is that? I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Oh, I have a... Okay, wait. Ooh. What? This, this is a storyboard that we all got. We all got... Um gifted from our director he framed a piece of the storyboard for us because mm -hmm. the whole movie um was actually storyboarded which is a little bit unique these days mm -hmm. um and so he framed them so this is the uh, oh. scene where i first find the box and he signed it oh my goodness natasha he spelled my name wrong but that also makes it super special they, they, they didn't give you the one with the fork eating like with the fork <laughs> no he didn't give me that one he didn't but <laughs> well didn't i actually have <laughs> I actually have a question that kind of ties in the sky a little bit. I'm not just going to be like, oh, my God, the possession. <laughs> um, like, that was like, was that officially like your first movie? No, no. It was okay. my first. It was my definitely biggest movie. Okay, but yeah. no, I, I had worked a ton before. So it's interesting because that was kind of your first, like you said, like big movie and everything. And that was kind of a horror. And that was like, we're not like genre betting at all. Like that was a horror movie. You know what I mean? And everything. Yeah. Did that kind of like set the tone a little bit for you? Like when you did work on other projects that like were genre bending or projects that kind of knew what they were, like, did you kind of work in a possession, see all the different types of projects afterwards? Cause like nurses has like the drama, but it also has the suspense. It was sky men. Cause there's two types of projects you can work on. There's projects that feels like two shows, but then there's projects like the possession where it's like, it knows what it is and it's only one thing. Right. Yeah, I mean, I learned so much from filming The Possession mm -hmm. as an actor. I, I am so grateful. I will forever be grateful for that movie. I really learned, and I think I proved to myself what I was capable of and, yeah. and that I was meant to be doing this. Um, so as far as acting-wise, I credit everything to that movie. Yeah. And learning, you know, and, and leading a, a movie, which was is hard on its own because the hours and the, and the workload and the pressure that comes along with it, the pressure more than anything, I think I really learned how to handle. So, I mean, I think that just like set me up for, for, for everything. It's one of those movies too. It's, it's always, it's pretty cool. Cause you know, for me, like I'm a big horror movie fan and like October, I always watch like a horror movie every night basically. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's cool to think that like that movie is like part of that rotation for a lot of people. Right. After all those years. Right. It is really cool. <laughs> It's weird to me when I still get recognized for that movie, like on the street, because it was so long ago and I was yeah. a child. <laughs> and now I'm like, I've, I'm like, I'm, I'm comp like, I, that's flattering, but like, <laughs> how do you recognize me? I was. Well, I think so it's just kind of the, it's the, it's the shelf life. It's like, there's no shelf life for these projects with streaming services, right? Like Paramount Plus yeah. and everything. I think that's basically what it is, right? Like <laughs> there's always going to be. Someone's going to be able it's, to watch it anytime. Yeah, it's so <laughs> hilarious. Did you see that there's a new orphan coming out? You know what? Because I was going to bring... That's why I brought up Possession, because of Paramount Plus, Sky Med, Orphan. I saw that trailer this morning. I cannot wait for that. I am I so saw excited. I saw this morning, too. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. But I'm I'm, so that's excited. why I wanted to bring it up, because I was like, Paramount Plus, Sky Med, Paramount Plus. Absolutely. That was actually like, I was going to bring that up. That's hilarious that you said that. That right. movie, that first one just made me feel so uncomfortable. And it this one is going to do this. Yeah. I, I love that movie. I actually studied it. Like when I was filming The Possession, I was mm -hmm. 
yeah, I loved that movie so much. So I'm very excited for the new one. Are we going to see you back in a horror movie soon? Is that the hope, hopefully? or Maybe. I mean, when I saw that they were doing uh, Orphan again, I was like, wow, it's never too... Because that was filmed a million years ago, oh, too. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, it's not too late for a possession, too. Yeah, or something else. I mean, I mean, it just... It's weird. Because the reason why I brought that up about, like, knowing it's... There's just so many horror movies out there now that they're not just horror movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, like, funny a little bit. They have a lot of action. And yeah. that was just literally like a exorcism, uh, like straight yeah. up horror movie. <laughs> yeah, which is so I don't great. think they're just, I don't think they're making, like, I don't think that's like the recipe of movies as much anymore. I think people are making different things these days. That's why I find that movie very interesting. There's yeah. a lot of possession movies and like ex exorcism movies that I've seen recently too that kind of throw in other things and like... They're like, like they have like dark comedy perspectives. Like I, I don't know, or even like they did, like they their show was like um, also on Paramount Plus. Evil. I don't know if you've seen that. No, I haven't. But that too, like kind of like it's like what is this show, right? Like it started, it had like the supernatural component and everything, and then it was just kind of like now it's horror, now it's kind of like very dramatic, like about a lot of the relationships. Like what am I watching? You know what I right. Mean? right. It's so crazy. Does, go, does looking at SkyMed and looking at the production of this thing kind of motivate you maybe to go behind the camera a little bit more? Or are you just still focusing on acting? Oh, no, 100%. Yeah. I've been wanting to go behind the camera for a while. Like, ever since I was a kid, I've always been so fascinated in the world of movie making and mm -hmm. directing. And, and when I was a kid on set filming movies, I was just such a sponge. And I was just absorbing everything and wanting to do every. I, I like, oh, my God, I would do special effects makeup on my dad after, like, watching the makeup artist do it that day. Mm -hmm. And then I, like, direct my dad and have my kid. So... My dad was, <laughs> he was such a good sport, but yeah, a hundred percent. And especially after this, uh, after Sky Met 2, I'm like, oh my God, the cinematography and the, and the guy, I'm really fascinated. Obviously directing is like number one on my list, but I was yeah. like, oh my God, camera, the, the camera guys would let me like look through the scope and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So, um, yes, I'm yeah. very fast. The feeling of being on set is pretty cool. I will agree with you there. It's yeah. a cool feeling. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. And it's amazing just to see, like, you're, you're making something, you see like the playbacks on the, the, the monitors of video village. It's like the craziest thing ever. Like, I don't, I feel like, I don't know if there's anything that tops that feeling, right? Like seeing it play back and stuff, like when you're actually shooting it. It's pretty magical. Yeah. I would say something that tops the feeling is finding out that you've gotten that show. Mm -hmm. I, that's like every actor is like. Oh, just there. The high is mm -hmm. is finding out when you but when you get a call from your entire team and you're like wait awaiting news and you get a call from the entire team, you know, and that feeling in your stomach where you're like, oh my god, you answer this call and you're like, I think it, and then it turns out that you got it. It's like oh, that's such a high. But I would argue that yeah, the secondly would be like watching it back and and being on locations. One hundred percent. Very cool. Before we wrap up, getting back to Sky Man, when they get to watch it because it's available on Paramount Plus now, like you said, number one, which is so amazing. Um, what are you hoping they get out of it, takeaway? wise when they get to watch the show i hope they there's a lot you probably took away from it yeah <laughs> we're gonna be out here for another hour 100 <laughs> percent. i mean when i first signed on to the show i didn't realize i mean growing up in the city and having a hospital like right across the street and stuff like that yep. i took for granted how um easy and healthcare and access you know so i think i hope audiences take away the fact that this is real life and these are people's jobs and this is how people live and and you know not to take any of that for granted because yeah it is it's it's difficult you know getting the medical attention in, in some of these communities in the north so yes absolutely I hope they get that a hundred percent no that's so well said natasha thank you so much for coming back on pop turn it was so great catching up with you you too thank you for having me back Always yeah a pleasure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Paramount Plus, SkyMed available there, and uh, CBC Gem in Canada. And um, Instagram, I think it's just Natasha Callis, right, for your Instagram? Instagram, Twitter, Natasha Callis, yeah. Absolutely. Well, this has been yeah. Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Natasha Callis and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.